I want to talk about the play uh, Mother of the Maid. Last mm. time I saw you, you were like, I might do this play, but it's so much work. And I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, but Mike, and, I, and you were looking forward to it, but yeah. now you're in it. And now. In it. Yeah. Yes, we're in it. How do you like the public theater? Is it fun over there? I love it. I love the public. It has a great culture of it's very young, it's very energetic, it's a lot of diversity, a lot of new talent. Don't you have to uh, share a green room or so? Don't you share, share like a green a... room with two other shows? <laughs> How kind of fun is that? That's it's kind really of... fun, and I share my dressing room with my co co ladies. Do you really? Uh, yeah, there are four of us in our and dressing room. And you all room. just uh, you all just make it work. Does oh have... yeah, it's really fun. Do you have really jobs? Good. And I have my dog, who's always there. Oh, yeah, and he's now the, the emotional support dog for about 50 people in the oh, theater. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love yeah, him. I know. But, uh, but I, every, everyone gets assigned different things. Are you someone's the, uh, the, the, the cookie person or someone's I'm the... The, Yes. I, well, I'm, I decided that I'd, my co-star, one of my co-stars is Irish. And I know a place to get his favorite tea. So I set up a tea table for uh, Dermot Crowley. See, come on, I mean, how and, nice and are thought, you? And I thought, I'll bring, you know, the McVitie's dipping, um, wonderful oh, those biscuits. biscuits. Or oh my God. So yeah. I, I have biscuits and Oreos, which is my downfall. Come on, and, no. Uh, no, no, see, that's good, that's mine too. And you Vienna, la uh, Vienna fingers. You know that the Vienna lady fingers? Or, okay, oh. Oh. oh my God, they're I so was good. thinking you meant the Vienna sausages. Oh, no. go, well, no. That's interesting. <laughs> Someone could have that. Maybe in Ireland they yeah. do that. I don't know. Yeah, we do that. And uh, it's really fun. Uh, and, um, well, uh, I got you. Tequila every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we wanted to make sure you had enough cookies for the cast oh and everybody. So we got gosh. you. Oh, these are milk bar cookies. Oh, my gosh. This is Christina Tosi. It's the best. Cookies in the world, They're like in the go world, crazy. and that's oh, that's from love from us oh, to you. You have to carry this. Wild goose dream. Yeah. You share it with wild goose You have to carry dream. this all the way, all the I way do? from here to the theater. Oh. Yeah, of course. No, I'm just kidding. Of course not. That's really uh, sweet. No, please, Thank you. come on. Actually, it really is sweet. Um, <laughs> Uh, I heard something, or I read about something in the paper where something went wrong at the play, or something was happening. That's, that's yes, yes, this is funny. You know was what I'm it? Talking about? Yeah, it was a, it was at a matinee, and I started my this monologue, and I heard this. Yeah. Ooh. And I, and it was coming from upstairs, and you know you have that little voice. You, I'm sure you have it. You know, I'm not too funny. That, that joke didn't work, so maybe I'll, I'll try the next one. Yeah, or of course. Skip that yeah, one. that one didn't work. So yet. you have this, you have this little voice. You've seen the so monologue. I, and this is, <laughs> And this is all why you're, you're saying your lines. My little voice is saying, oh my God, that's really distracting. Um, is it going to stop? Oh, there it goes again. No, I don't think it's going to stop. No, I wonder if it's this distracting. <laughs> to the audience. <laughs> I don't know. I can barely remember my lines. And I finally stopped and said, is this as distracting to you as it is to me? And they all went, yes. Well, what and was it? It was they, they were mending something on the roof and they didn't think obviously that they would be able to hear it in our theater. Oh but then God. but then it ended up being really great because we for about seventeen minutes, um, I was just saying I, I thought, you know, let me pretend to be Jimmy Fallon. And uh, <laughs> I said <laughs> I said, uh, where do you all come from? And there's some lady from Tasmania and you know, uh, really? well, and then they asked me questions, and Grace Van Patten, who plays Joan of Arc in our play, she was kneeling, she was sitting on this little stool, which she's in the beginning of our show, and she looked up at me at one point, and she said, this is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no one's ever going to get to see this type of performance ever again. <laughs> no, there we are in our 15th century peasant costumes. <laughs> Just, and then you've got to go, you know, have to snap back into the back play. Back into character. Yeah. Oh, gosh, fantastic. It was really fun. Now, this is uh, the, the writer of this play. Was that the, the writer of... Yeah, Jane Anderson also wrote The Wife. Uh, yeah. uh, congrats on uh, uh, this play, but also, I got to say, on The Wife. And I want to say I'm your good luck charm, because last time you were here, we were talking about The Wife. And I was like, I'm telling you, there's going to be awards buzz around this. I'm just saying. <laughs> and and it just keeps getting bigger, and the buzz gets bigger. And now it's like... Grr, grr, <laughs> grr, every, and good for you. Well deserved. <laughs> Well deserved noise for you. Oh man! Uh, oh. You're, you're nominated for an Independent Spirit Award. Yes, uh, for that's the your first, first time. time. I, how fun I is that? I just think it's so cool because you because they are on a tent on the beach. Yeah. You know. It is. Yeah. And I'm hoping I could wear blue jeans. Yes, you can. No, you can I totally. don't have to. You can go barefoot. <laughs> the red carpet, you can wear like a. 
anything. <laughs> you, you, you're off to the uh, the Gotham Awards tonight. Yes, yes. As well. I mean, it's just all, and it, it's so well deserved. I love the movie because, uh, well, I, I, to set it up, I'll do the job if oh, you don't thank mind. Thank you. Uh, you probably like, dude, I've talked about it so many times, I'll do it. Uh, basically, your, your husband is getting the Nobel Prize in literature. Yes. And you're off to Stockholm. Stockholm. What you realize as you go through it is that uh, he's getting all these accolades, and you realize that you're the one actually doing the, the writing. And, and it's the secrets, the woman behind the man. And I couldn't talk Spoiler about this. Spoiler alert. Well, I couldn't, well now, I, la, now I can say it, because last yeah, time yeah. it was just coming true, out. Yeah. Now I can talk about it. And it really is the truth. It, yeah. I, it, the secret to a lot of men's success is uh, the, the woman behind the man. And uh, <laughs> it's true, it's true with me, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is watching. It's, it's definitely true with me. amazing how... <laughs> but, but man, oh man, and you just go, okay, all right. And then he's getting all these things, and then he's like having an, an affair. You don't know what's it. You go, dude, enough is enough. <laughs> and I go, and you, it boils, and it comes to the Glenn yeah. Close moment where you go, come on, let's go. And you, <laughs> I mean, it's great, and it just pays off, and it just... But then it's also just beautiful at the end. Yep. I had a wonderful director, Bjorn Runga, but also Jonathan Price, who plays... Oh, he's great. My husband is a great, great actor. To go off with. You and, guys... um, you know, you have to be brave to be a, an actor in, the, in a movie called The Wife. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Because we all have egos, right? <laughs> so, uh, but, man, and, you guys uh, spar, and yeah, it's just it's, beautiful it's to watch amazing. you guys work. Uh, yeah. Congrats on everything. Uh, uh -huh. It's on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.